The feature race yesterday at Randwick was running of the Epsom Handicap. Uh, it's a time honoured event. A lot of very, very good horses have won this race and, and used it as a springboard uh, for their Melbourne campaigns. Um, Thessio was a deserved winner, I thought, yesterday from uh, Bank Robbo uh, and Galantess. Um, you want to lead off on this? Okay. Yeah, um, look, it was great to see Thessio win. Uh, I mentioned last week that I thought um, his effort to run a close second to mentality um, was a, a strong pointer to him rather than, I guess, a, a negative to the to the race's form as, as a reference point of view. I thought, you know, that, that's just that age-old, um, I guess, form reference of a horse going from weight for age and coming back seven and a half kilos into, a, nice. into an Epsom handicap. Uh, you know, he was always the one with a shining light on, him, on his head for me. Um, and it was just great to see him produce. Um, fantastic for Gay Waterhouse uh, to produce another Quinella and a big grand with Mile. Um, I, I think it was an absolute disgrace to see the turnaround of form in Bank Robber. I, I don't know. Oh, it's a wet track though, that's the thing. Yeah, I think he's a wet tracker, but at the end of the day, I, I, you know, how dirty would you be if you'd been backing this horse and watching him get beat at uh, dollar fifty and that sort of thing is, is in a key lead up to this race, um, and then it comes out and runs a, an hour a second. It's, uh, it was unbelievable, but um, yeah, I suppose it was a good performance by him. But he must be rated as probably a bit of a wet tracker now. Um, and I think uh, the other horse that I sort of uh, was was looking at late was uh, All Silent, who seemed to put in the big ones near the end. Uh, got a long way out of his ground um, and, and uh, revved up uh, really strongly late. Um, you know, a couple of horses that probably looked disappointed. Uh, Musket on face value looked quite disappointing, but I mean, his race was over when they jumped him. He missed the start and was well and truly out of his ground, and um, you know, I, I don't think he, he was ever really a fighting chance, so I'd forgive him that run um, into something else. Um, but Desio definitely the horse to be following. He'll go on to better things. I'm telling you, the horse isn't finished yet. Um, you probably think he's perhaps reached his level, and at Group 1, obviously, there's, there's not much further to go, but uh, there's more in store for that horse. Okay. Yeah, I thought, um, uh, again yesterday, Gay Waterhouse, what a freak. Um, I said a couple of weeks ago, just wait till the, the Epsom and she'll come to the fore. Quinnell is it. You know, it's just, it's uncanny. She's just uh, an incredible, incredible trainer, um, following in the footsteps of her illustrious father. You still haven't got that invitation. <laughs> no, I just, I've, I, think that, I think so highly of her as a trainer because when it's grand final day, her, her horse is invariably perform. And, especially at Randwick. Yeah, especially at Randwick. And um, I, I'm just, um, I, I think it's a fantastic cat. I've been on uh, tr following Bank Robber, I think a couple of weeks ago when we did our Epsom tips, um, he was mine and um, jumped off after <laughs> after his previous effort. So yeah, it, it was quite a, uh, a form reversal yesterday. Um, but um, I'm not sure if he's just a wet tracker. I think he, he's a I, I think he's a quite a smart horse. Um, sometimes horses can put in a. a oh, you've got to forgive one bad run, no, no doubt. Yeah, yeah. two. Yeah. yeah, two bad runs. Yeah, yeah. one was really, really disastrous, and, and the other was. First up? Oh, first up, yeah, big weight, yeah. Yeah, might not have been I, look, I don't. I wouldn't. I, I think uh, he's a he's a horse that, in my opinion, next next time with a bit more maturity, he'll be a bit more consistent. I also want to focus on his Galantess. I backed Galantess yesterday to win, especially when the rain came. Her ride was just inexplicable to me. Um, I don't understand what Jeff Lloyd was thinking yesterday. Um, he had the opportunity to be in a 1 1 situation and just was loafing around and just waiting, waiting for something to happen. And by the time he made up his mind, she's three dead facing the breeze. Like, I know on a wet track you can probably get away with uh, running uh, wider if you've got cover. And she did have cover for some parts of the race. But it was just a ridiculous ride and showed no initiative. Not saying she would have beaten the winner because the winner won quite convincingly. But it just you just don't expect that of a, of a senior jockey in a, in a big race. But full credit to the mare though, banked it up. Oh, chef. she's and such she a consistent yeah. good mare, you know. And she still tried to hat her in the straight. and. She had every uh, excuse to fold up and, and run midfield yesterday, and she just she yeah, really grew in stature to me that man. Um, the, the ride was ridiculous. Um, all, all silent, probably finished stronger than anything. I've, I don't know the sectionals, but I'm sure he, he had the fastest sectionals of the race. Um, he may be a soft track horse. All silent. Um, his his best performances have been on on, on wet ground, I, I believe. Um, and um, I think yesterday. As, as opposed to the previous week where he laboured to the 
to the line on the on the firmer footing. Um, he really got through, and his action—you could see—he was clean through his action and and really finished the race off strongly. So, um, I think all silent. If anything, any sort of race where there's a bit of tat in the ground, I'd be keeping an eye on him because I think he's 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 really good under those conditions. Admittedly, he did have the handicap conditions to suit him yesterday. Sure. So, um, but um, yeah, I thought his effort was good. Uh, Musket for mine was disappointing. Um, you know, I just don't see an excuse for his performance. Um, everyone was saying that he was going to put in a good run yesterday. He should handle the ground with his pedigree. Um, he's not an overly big horse. He should have reduced their girl fifth leg in the wet and uh, McIvey yeah. really loved the wet. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I, I couldn't see any real excuse for him. Uh, Rahib was, again, I, I didn't really think his effort was was particularly good. Yeah, but it's a wet track. He's some of the, we won't he's, know. A big, he's a big horse. Yeah, but I was never convinced about that horse. Anyway, yeah, I, yeah, I, knew, I, I was never on to jump. The only other one I wanted to talk about is Raining to Win. He is now officially the biggest gunner in Australia. Um, he's, he's, he's now got so that, that title. when he ran against trips, didn't he? Yeah, he, he has officially got that title um, and um, he's holding it very proudly. We'll present it later. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, he is. Uh, well, a few, I've got a different take on one horse with you guys. I, I want to cover the race. Thirty out, hundred percent. I actually thought he was a, when I did the form, uh, dropping back from fifty nine to fifty one and a half, like that sort of dropping in, in weight is just massive. Um, and he, he on weight he was certainly in the race, but it was just the barrier eight in that I was really concerned with. But what a great ride from Zach Purton to come across the ride this horse. Yeah, uh, yeah. Got him across, gave him a lovely run in transit. I thought from barrier eight in he might get stuck stuck out there, but geez. Got across no problem, got a gun run and, and served win, especially with the weight on his back. Um, bank robber and, and Galantes, you guys covered it all. Uh, all silent. I don't think he's just a wet tracker. Oh, look, his first two runs back this time, and he was very unlucky first up on a good track, which I thought yeah. he should have won. Never got a crack at him. And last start, he was still only beating a length and three quarters uh, over 1400. Yeah. That was second up. He got to a mile finally. And you know what? Had, had he probably not been 10 lengths off and turned, <laughs> you may have seen a different result. Um, oh, he, he, gave he stretched down and he was never going to win. No, yeah, but from where he was positioned, he yeah. was never going to win. But Haddie, I'm his biggest. Yeah, player. yeah, yeah it's a great run, and I think yeah. 2,000 meters, uh, he's looking for it already. What about the uh, uh, Yeah, well, you guys covered it. I, I don't want to go over that ground. She's doing everything terrific. Um, you know, so who's very different? Uh, uh, musket. Um, he now I've, I've been sitting on the fence with Marcus, just waiting to see uh, how he went. But I thought his run in was terrific. I thought he hit the line really well. Yeah, I, I um, know he was entitled to. Yeah, yeah, but he, he got a long way back. He got a long way back, and you said he missed the kick. Yeah, um, I, I just so thought he was never a winning hope. He was I, never I, a winning hope. I, but I, I, I'm I still a supporter of his, but I didn't yeah, much of the run. I didn't uh, much of the run. I reckon well, he, yeah, I, I've got doubts about him being a strong mile. But he really? really doesn't get a mile. No, no, he'll get a mile. I've got no doubts about him getting a mile, mate. Really? Yeah, yeah, no doubts about him getting a mile. Even last campaign, he ran second over 2,000 metres and he was still immature. So I don't have a problem with a mile. He hit the line nice. Horse. Yeah, no, he's not a big horse. No, but, I, you know, I, but I. They keep talking about. Uh, it's the biggest propaganda blitz I've ever seen about that horse. They always talk about how beautiful he is. He's a, he's a pony. No, no, he's not big. No, I know that. He's uh, uh, particularly small. He is he's he's small. small. I pulled him out at the I, I pulled him out at the Eastern Yearly Sales, and I thought he'd make four or five hundred. I was absolutely yeah. just on his time. I was absolutely uh, amazed that he made what he made. Yeah. Uh, but but anyway, I, I liked his run yesterday, and I thought the other horse that hit the line really well was um, God's Hands, and he's something. I think he's now starting to get back to some form. We can follow him also. Yes, uh, can I just quickly say also. Uh, Dane Wynn, the sire of uh, Thessio, tremendously the underrated stallion. Uh, his statistics are unbelievable. He's a horse that's got, um, he's sub-fertile. Um, he, his fertility runs between 55 and 60 percent. Um, so for him to have another quality performer, he's one of the best value stallions in Australia, in my opinion. Obviously tricky to breed to, but um, you know, if you can get a mare in vol to him or you can buy one, um, I think he's well, great. I've heard those nasal therapy treatment ads <laughs> on 2KY, maybe they should look into that. Well, uh, have a look at that. Are they let's, working? Let's finish well, it there. Well, they are, actually. <laughs> let's finish it I there. think uh, that's the Epson. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> <Amazing>. <laughs>